One last question. Um, sometimes I ask Allah to help me with my struggles, but then I feel zero connection with him, and the issue doesn't pass. This has happened before my, with my feelings about hijab, me asking Allah to support me and help me through it from the deepest depths of my heart. But the help never came. Any advice? This is a heavy one, right? And I will say that I sometimes have these thoughts. It's like, okay, do I feel the connection right now? Do I, do I feel it? But what does that feeling feel like? Do we have... Do we have like a, a particular feeling that we're supposed to have when we have that connection? So you have to ask yourself, and this is something that I've asked myself, is that do I only feel connected when I'm sad about something and I'm like, I'm talking to Allah? Is that when I feel connected? How come I don't feel connected now? You know, it reminds me of, a, of, of the um, companions who came to the Prophet ﷺ and said, Oh, Prophet ﷺ, when we are with you, we cry and we're, you know, we, we cry about it. We, we think about Allah. We think about the afterlife. We're, we're so much into it. But when we go back to our families, we, we laugh and we, we forget. The Prophet Wasallam, and, and please forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, but just paraphrasing here, that, that if you were always like that, then you'd be angels. Allah alam, and may Allah forgive me, I don't remember the last part of it, but we're not meant to always be like that. We're not meant to always be in this constant state of, I'm connected. I, you know, those connections come in many different forms. Maybe perhaps you feel that there's a particular expectation on how that feeling or how that connection is supposed to look like or supposed to feel like, and you're waiting for that to happen. But maybe perhaps think about it. Is there any other things happening in your life that Allah SWT is doing for you? Are there any other things that Allah is bringing for you that maybe perhaps might somewhat help you in that moment? Maybe perhaps it's sitting here and listening to others going through that struggle. Help comes, help always comes, but it doesn't come in the form that we want it to come. It doesn't come in the form that we think it's going to come. And maybe perhaps that dua that you're reading, remember there's three things that happens when you read duas. One is that it gets accepted right away or that it is delayed for you and given to you later. Two, instead of what you asked, Allah gives you something much better than that. Or three, that Allah averts a calamity from you. And, and just maybe, and Allah alam, just maybe, just a thought out there that if you feel like, okay, if the last is true, if the last is true for you, maybe perhaps something else was supposed to come for you and take you away from this deen and Allah SWT is stopping that from happening. And that you are still doing it. You are still there and you're still asking Allah. You are still connected to him. The fact that you are asking Allah is your connection to Allah because Allah has inspired you to make that dua and Allah is continuing to inspire you to make that dua and call on to him. That is connection.